Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd film Get Ready With Me. Um, yeah, I thought I'd walk you guys through it. I'm not a professional, I'm pretty bad at makeup. But I thought this would be just, just a fun video to do. We're gonna start off by moisturising. Okay, so I like to go with a few drops of vitamin E oil first. And I find that my makeup works better if I put this on before moisturiser rather than afterwards. So I have tried both. So yeah, I'm literally gonna do one, two, three. I, li I don't want like greasy skin or anything. Um, so only a little bit of that. Next, we're gonna go in with regular moisturizer. It's very mild, basically. Very moisturizing, very mild, and it's dermatologically tested. So yeah, that's what I use for my face and the rest of my body, because it literally is like the mildest thing ever, so. That's going to to get dry sometimes, especially one little spot in my forehead, which I always double up on. It's like right up here. Always, always, always get super dry. Next thing we're going to do, is grab foundation. I don't really put foundation on usually. I've started wearing it more because I want to, I want to, I just want to get more into makeup. Um, but usually like a full face of makeup for me is just concealer, contour, maybe some blush, um, eyeshadow, except I left that at uni because I'm a mess. And um, it's my eye and my brows and that's it. But we are putting on foundation. So I've actually been in between on whether to be using Beauty blenders or buffing brushes for my foundation, it is a liquid. And for a long time, I actually did use a beauty blender, however, a few days ago. Um, and I was just messing about with the bounce. Um, I've decided I prefer the brush. I just think it looks better. And then I'll go in afterwards with the beauty blender. Foundation. Look how shiny my skin is. I never really put loads on. So like, we're gonna start with that much because I find that the more I put on my hand, the more I put on my face. And then I'm there like trying to, and then I'm there like trying to get rid of stuff. So yeah, a little on my hand. And I'm gonna do that. Oh, also don't use primer clearly because I just don't see the point really. I think it's one of those marketing things. Oops, there we go, it's on my lips. Mm. Another thing is, I like to do my makeup a few hours before I go anywhere because I don't know, I just think my makeup looks best always when um, it always looks best when it's had time to settle for a bit. I don't know why. Maybe it's like sinking in more. I don't know if there's any sort of reason for it, but that's just what I think. So, yeah, this is a couple hours two or three hours before I have to meet people. Actually, no, it's, it's, I think it's an hour and a half for the first person I'm meeting. And then I'm meeting the rest of the people an hour and a half after that. So three hours before I meet, you know, most of the people. So, yep. I'm gonna put that everywhere. And look, literally, hold on. nothing left on my hand that is what we want okay we don't want no excess foundation we don't want to put in too much in our face either so there we go so as i said before i like to go in afterwards with my beauty blender i like to use this bottom side it's very wet okay foundation wise we're done now i'm just gonna try my face <laughs> all right so now that i've done that i'm going to put on some can see that, but not everywhere, just on a couple of spots. And for this, what we're gonna do is use fingers, just to blend it out. And then go over with beauty blender. All right, now it's contour time. I'm lying to you, I always forget this, but the first thing I wanna do is actually put on some blush. And I, as I say, left all my powders and stuff at uni, so no eyeshadow, no blush or anything. So recently I've started using a very well selected shade of lipstick. Um, I've been going for a more red hue uh, recently, but I think I'm going to use this one. The shade Cut Cake from Lust the Lips, I'm not sure. I got this for Christmas. 
very 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 nice set of lipsticks and they smell really good like i'm not sure if i should be sniffing it but it smells amazing so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and grab my pointy brush i'm not sure what this is called but it's what i use and um lipstick on my hand not where the foundation was because i don't want to get some color on there but anyway you get the drift and we're just gonna Get the brush on there a lot in the soil and very very lightly because the other day I went overboard on this and there was no coming back to be honest with you so I almost said I had a red face it was a bit rude if you ask me but whatever I surely said it to me like at the end of the day after I'd already been out to like go pick up my sister and do other stuff and go to the supermarket it was so embarrassing <laughs> anyway. There we go, a nice little sutting sutting. I like to put some on my nose as well. And a bit on my brows. And a teeny bit on my chin. All blushed up. So now we can do contour. So for contour, I like to use a nice angled brush like this. And this is in use so much, like literally once a year, I think. But I'm just going to get as much as possible evenly on this brush. I have a big forehead, so I mean it is a forehead I think, yeah it's, I guess it's not that big but it feels very white, maybe because of how my hairline is, so I like to put a little, just a teeny bit up here, and literally not much, and I always, always, always blend this out instantly, so that I don't have a ton of stuff there, and then finally, um, we're gonna put a little down here. Mm. Final thing I like to contour is actually my nose. And I literally never used to do this until a few weeks ago, because as I said, I've been trying to wear makeup more just for fun. And I guess contouring my nose is not really a thing that matters to me, but it is fun to do, so. So I'm gonna go closer to the mirror, but I'll come back and show you where I put the lights. All right, so you can see, oh, this looks so funny. You can see where I put the lines and yeah. I like to put a lot, 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 lot. Because I don't know, that's the only way I know how. Otherwise, there's just no difference. At the same time, I often get very worried that um, people who see me in the street will just be like, whoa, brown nose and then nowhere else. So I don't know if I've quite got it yet. Um, and then we just blend like this. Very, very aggressively is what I always think. And there we go. I mean, it's nothing too dramatic. Mm, but yeah, I'll put concealer later. And that's that done. Contour stage finished. Okay, cool. So the next thing we're going to do finally is um, the real, real concealer, you know, the real, real. On my hand first, finger. Need a little there. Need a little, it really annoys me if I don't have the same amount on each side of my face. And a little there. A little there. And a little. Here. Should I just do that? Wow. Okay. And those are really the only places I really put contour, I mean concealer, on my face because I don't know. I don't like loads, to be honest. Even when I have a no foundation look, like it will literally only go in these areas. So I don't really like having it look like I have tons of makeup on. And this is a lot more than usual, so it has taken a while for me to be, feel sort of comfortable in this much makeup. But I think it looks good, especially after, as I say, a few hours when it's sort of settled in, it looks more like, more like me. Yeah, boy. Alright, so the concealer is all blended in. Same as usual, the end of every stage, I like to go over with this. Cool! Next up, we are going to do the eyebrows. And if I can find my eyebrow pencil. Okay, so I was going to do eyebrows next, and I have no idea when my eyebrow pencil is. How thin my eyebrows are! Ugh! Okay. I've literally looked everywhere. And usually I don't even use eyebrow pencil, I use brow powder, which is at uni, and I hate myself. Okay, well, 
Seems I'm gonna be eyebrowless, but I might as well try to, you know, make it look presentable. I broke my spoolie, which is why I'm using this brush. But I am gonna get a new one today now that I'm going out. Um, yeah. And a new eyebrow pencil, clearly. Mm. Anyway, I'm gonna try and not be sad about that. I've become really close to the camera, whoa. Okay. Um, and finally, we're just gonna go on with some lip things. So I actually wanna start off with, this was a cupcake that I used for blush earlier. But lipstick wise, I'd like to go for a three layered thing. First I go in with this very, very nude colour called Barely There. And because you know I'm a brown girl, it looks a bit weird. I mean, it's nice. But um, that makes my lips look like they're disappearing for no reason. Um, but I do like it as a nice solid base for the next shade I put on, which is called I think it's lava. Yeah, this is lava. And what I do with this one is just dot it on like so, and then I do this. Okay, right, so because I'm going for a very naturalish look today, I'm going to go in with this Avon lip gloss. Very, very, very pretty colour, and as you can see, it matches my lips very nicely. If I was going for something fancier, I'd probably use um, a more red or purple lipstick on top, and probably not even use the barely there. I'd just use a combination of two darker lipsticks and then top it with this gloss. Point is, whenever I put lipstick on, I always put a gloss on, and I find that this sort of prevents the need for a lip liner because um, sorry <laughs> this sort of prevents the need for lip liner because I don't know no one lip lines lip gloss do they <laughs> so it looks like I've just got lip gloss on um, but it's a nice colour that I want and I don't like lip liners so yeah I always top off my lipstick with a gloss cheat okay since I can't do my Eyebrows. If I find my eyebrow pencil later, I will. But since I can't do my eyebrows now, we're just going to get started on the hair. I can do hair. Usually I do hair after I get dressed, but I'm wearing sort of like a long t-shirt dress. It's a button up, so I can just do it now. Um, yeah. Also, I hope you like this makeup look, apart from the fact that, you know, I forgot. Oh my goodness. I forgot highlighter. One of my favourite things. You saw it on the other side of this palette. Um, this highlighter shade actually isn't good for me. I'm better with more golden shades, but the golden highlighters that I use are over at university. So I'm forced to just power with this one. I mean, it doesn't look that bad, but it's not it's not optimal for my skin tone, you get me? Anyway, I'm just gonna go like this. We're actually done with this makeup tutorial and I think I look the bomb.com I've been told to stop saying that but it's true true natural lighting key yeah boy I don't have a ring light yet I also want to say thank you for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like down below and hit that subscribe button if you aren't already because I would love some more people to talk to and yeah um if you want to chat to me or anything Instagram is in the description, you can DM me on that or you can leave a comment, I will reply to either method, so yeah, I'll see you all next week.